Hello friends. In this video we will learn about food and its sources. Do you know what are the food habits of animals? Animals directly or indirectly depend on green plants for their food requirements. Based on food that animals eat we classify them into three main categories. Herbivores Carnivores and omnivores. Animals that eat only plants are called herbivores. Herbivores is a Latin word, in which herba means vegetation and vorea means to eat. Herbivores have two types of teeth sharp cutting teeth at the front and flat wide grinding teeth at the back of their jaw. Examples of herbivores are cow, buffalo, deer, horse and giraffe. Also many birds are herbivores. Animals that eat only other animals are called carnivores, also known as flesh-eating animals. In Latin caro means meat or flesh. They have long and sharp teeth for tearing the flesh of animals. Carnivorous birds have curved, pointed beaks that aid in tearing flesh. Some examples of carnivores are lion, tiger, wolf and eagle. Animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. In Latin omnes, omnium means all or everything. Human beings, raccoon, bears and crows are examples of omnivores. There are some other groups in which animals are classified based on their feeding habits. These are scavengers decomposers and parasites. Scavengers mainly feed on dead animals and plants. The dead remains of animals produce foul smell and can spread infection. Scavengers help in cleaning the environment. Scavengers can be either carnivores such as vulture, jackal and hyena. and omnivores such as crow. Organisms that break down the organic components in the remains of dead plants and animals and convert them into simpler form. Examples are bacteria, snails, worms and fungi. Scavengers eat or consume dead animals, whereas decomposers break down the remains of dead plants and animals. Both plays a very important role in keeping the environment clean. Organisms that live on or inside the bodies of other living organisms and obtain food from them are called parasites. Organisms that provides food and shelter to a parasite is called host. They usually harm the host. For example fleas and leeches suck blood of human beings and other animals. Tapeworms and hookworms are also parasites that live inside the bodies of some animals and feed on the food digested by these animals. Food chain represents food dependence of organisms in a natural environment. It tells who eats whom, for example. Grass is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by lion. The organisms at the first level of a food chain is always a producer, such as grass. The next in the sequence is a herbivore such as grasshopper called a primary consumer. The primary consumer is followed by carnivores as secondary consumer such as frog.
than tertiary consumers such as snake. At the last final consumers such as ego. Decomposers such as fungi consume the remaining nutrients in dead organisms. Do you know who invented concept of food chain and food web? Charles Elton an ecologist invented concept of food chain and food web. Many food chains exist in nature. An organism may be a part of more than one food chains. This creates an interconnection between different food chains. A network of such interconnected food chains is called a food web. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.